and welcome to another vlog. I hope you're all well, safe, and um, yeah, got some time to sew. Just a wee smudge, if you can fit it in there. Um, yes, today's vlog is a wee bit. Yeah, I've not done one in a while, so I thought I would show you what I've been up to and what I've bought recently. Some you wouldn't think, oh, immediately sewing related, but it might give you a good idea of what you can use it. Um, definitely one thing I've been influenced by the Yorkshire Sew Girl, so yeah, we're going to blame her entirely for this one um yeah so let me get started but before that i'm going to tell you what i'm wearing today and it's the south by sweater i got this fabric from minerva as part of the blog ambassador team minerva maker ambassador team <laughs> and it's a lovely sweater knit um yeah it's got like owls and rabbits and foxes and squirrels and little birdies <laughs> and it's just nice um i've got quite a few compliments today from it and whenever i wear it um wore it to work so that's another idea i'm probably going to be talking through a week of outfits this week and you'll get to see it on Tuesday next week. So it just divides up the cosy capsule as well and gives you some fresh content. <laughs> I've seen so Amelia do one of her a week what I wear capsule thing and her holiday one was Shifskis. <laughs> I really liked what she brought on holiday to with her um uh, everything just seemed to click together you know um and it's fantastic <clears throat> another thing is i need to really address talking about my stash and i need to go through my stash and this is where stash hub would come into um i need to count out how much meterage i've got and de-stash some of mine but in order of de-stashing some, I've actually helped someone else, to, or maybe a couple of people, de-stash a couple of pieces each of their stashes. <laughs> Can't help myself, can I? But, um, yeah, I'll talk it through right now. So if you haven't already, give me a little thumbs up and a wee cheeky subscribe if you haven't. And if you can, please comment. Um, I love getting to know you as part of this lovely sewing community that I've got on my little YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, it just lets me get to know you better and who is watching my channel. So, yeah. And if you can, please do support me on coffee and put in all those little pennies and coffees to a wonderful vlogging camera because I think that's the best way forward with storage and all that jazz for this channel so yes it is going back into the channel don't worry I'm not spending it all on fabric um, I wouldn't do that so yes um, yeah so it will come but at the more mean in the meantime, I'll be recording on my phone. It seems to be working at the moment. I just have to take a few things off to add this on and shuffle it over to YouTube and all the rest of it. But as a whole, it's pretty much working. So, right for the first five minutes of the video, I've just been blabbering on, but. Let's go. Let's see what I bought. First of the non sewing related thing is this turntable organizer. Now, I bought, I think it was either Home Bargains or B&M. And I thought I could put 
all my pen things on it and pen cushions like even it's not unwrapped yet just to give you <laughs> danger danger um yeah it's hanging by a thread quite literally but no um i could boil it around and it would be a bit more convenient tidy so i'm trying to get organized in the sewing room and so far it's an, it's an ongoing process um, okay so next up is these all-purpose mats now they can be used as a placemat drip mat or drawer insert now i think the yorkshire so girl ak ruran she gets hers from home bargains or bnm and i've got mine from Liddles. and um, they were $1.99 for a pack of two and i went for this this colour, I think they come in grey and pink as well. I went for green, minty green. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use this under my sewing machine and my overlocker. Give it a try, see how I get on. Um, definitely for my overlocker, just to stop the bounce. <laughs> Aye, so that was from Lidl. You can pick some up at Home Bargains and B&M as well. So, yeah. I got some buttons from Pigeon Wishes and I got three packs. I think one's dropped on the floor downstairs. But um, if I can, I will pop that in <laughs> once I show you these. Um, these are gorgeous. I think these are part of the Valentine's drop and they are stunning. I've kind of got an idea of I don't think either I'll be making using them at the moment. There's a strong feeling of using them because they might go with the red in this dress that I'm making. Um, probably not these, but these are so dinky. These are like the one centimeter button. They're so much smaller than the one point two, as you can see. Um, but I love the colors in these. And as well as these complete magpie for pigeon brushes, which reminds me, I really need to look at Ethel and John. I really like the earrings as well as the buttons. So I think when PD comes, I might look at Ethel and John's buttons. Maybe get a pin magnet. Hmm. <laughs> so, as I said, I was talking about helping other people's or other wonderful sewers these stashes and first off I got this beautiful pink cotton twill of of um sewn on the time aka Tamlin and she was doing a wee D stash a wee while ago every so often she does a D stash and she has incredible fabric so I got this and I'm thinking I think it's called the Riley Jumpsuit, not Riley Jumpsuit, Riley Overalls by True Bias. They come in the 14 to 32 size range, um, straight off the release. And they come in 0 to 18 as well, but definitely 14 to 32. And I was thinking of that, and then I saw another pattern that was like, ooh, that would look, this would look nice in that because I've already got some pinkish is it denim maybe I was thinking of making the Rileys anyway so this might be something different or the other pink fabric might be something different either or, one will be the Riley overalls when I get around to it the other thing that oh, I'm knocking everything now the other thing that I got from Tamlin quite recently was the Zero Waste Tear Dress by Brigetta Helmerson, if I said that right. And oh, I love this, but I equally love this. I've been looking at that now. I think it's a Heidi dress that 
so Amelia was wearing it. She wears a lovely red one. And oh, it's by I'll pop it on the screen. <laughs> um, but it has a very similar one. Now there's another pattern by Pattern Emporium that has a very similar um bodice. Um I'm kind of looking forward to making this because I've not tried the zero waist tea dress and um kind of just snap that one up. Now the lovely Adele of Sofa Seren who was doing a de stash and I've been very good until very recently when she did another drop on her de stash journal. I think there's still some fabrics available so I'll pop um that up there. Um and also, I'll put Tamlin's and Adele's D-Stash channels in the box below so you can go and check them out if you want. Now, I got this. Um, this is a fleece back sweater knit. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got sort of a navy with a pink hue on daisies and glitter. I don't know if you can see that the glitter so yeah that'll be one sweatshirt i wonder what it'll be and then this beautiful it's coming up more lilac-y than on the screen than it is you can see the pink that's a bit more pinky now oh there it is there um it is gorgeous this lovely cable knit now i've got two meters of this so i'm swithering if i can make a South Bank sweater dress out of this, maybe not, um, but I have got the Nile, it's like a teal version and I've got that cut out into a Jackson pullover, so I'm not quite sure if I'd do another Jackson pullover in this, but it's lovely, it's a lovely soft cable knit, so can't wait to do that. Now, as well as fabric, I've been buying the magazine. Now, this showed up in, on Instagram a wee while ago, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this issue to come out because it's got this penny dress on the front, which is by... <laughs> Make with Mandy. And it is in quite a good size range. 6 to 26 UK so as it's got gathered tier it should have quite a sufficient amount of ease in the bum for <laughs> for that um I really like the blue version yeah so I'm looking forward to trying to make that probably be my first pattern that I've sewn up with simply sewing um, I'm hoping that the instructions are better because I've heard not so great things about them, the instructions being free. Um, but I've not even looked at through the magazine yet, so looking forward to that. They've also provided with two other um, patterns, this Tulia T, and this is by Sewing Patterns by Mason. But the sizing isn't that great, so that might go on my D stash when I'm going to redo it. And but they've got this cute little doorstop, Willy the Rabbit, which I'm kind of tempted to make. I love a doorstop. Random, random. Okay, so fabrics that I have bought like first hand is this beautiful um, sweatshirt thing. Now, you know my lilac pullover, um, Jackson pullover by Helen's Closet? This is the same fabric but in sage. And I've got the cream. Now, I'm going to colour block it. I know cream's really dangerous, but I'm going to colour block it because I want to do the hood version of the Jackson pullover. Um, I've also got some lovely cream ribbing that was left over from something else. So I'm going to use that 
um, for the cuff um, and possibly the hem band. So looking forward to that. And that was this was from so much more. The other fabric I bought was from Simply Fabrics Brixton. Brixton. Um, it's this lovely cotton Vici and um, it's got two, two sizes of gingham. Um, I was totally inspired yet again by So Amelia. Um, Amelia has got the blue and black version of this and it looks stunning in the everyday dress and I was like totally lusting so I think I'm going to do the everyday dress on this and um, it is absolutely gorgeous and just recently so Amelia did the everyday dress top version and yeah I think I'm going to use some of my 1.5 meters of fabric that I've got a moustache to maybe do that i've got definitely a couple in mind that would look chef's kiss doshi sweet <laughs> um so yeah this is cotton venture it's washed really well um i've washed all of these so all of these fabrics so they're good to go um and i can't wait to get going with them like always so many plans so many so many and so little time <laughs> the other thing that i'm doing at the moment is i'm putting these pants together now these are the emerson pants by true bias in the 14 to 30. just let me double check excuse me what? Is it 14 to 30? 14, 14 to 32, better. Um, and I've done most of the main construction. I just need to put the hem band together and put that on, put the elastic elastic in to make the elasticator back and do the hem on the bottom. But they're looking really quite nice and I'm loving the feel. I was gifted this fabric from Minerva, it's a lovely denim, I'll try and link it in the box below if I remember, but yeah, looking forward to starting to wear them. I love the Emersons, they're really comfortable, they've got the elasticated back, the front um, waistband is flat, um, you've got two darts at the front, two pleats, sorry, at the front on each side, and you've got pockets, what's not to love. And I really like the length when it comes on me. Um, I didn't have to do too many adaptations, adaptions um, for this pattern. So yeah, I'm really quite chuffed with this pattern. So it, it's, yeah, it's such a nice little kick when that happens. But that's me. I hope you're all well. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and give me a little comment below tell me what you liked most out of this video and i will see you very very shortly take care my lovelies bye